fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stock and Stuff. I am here to share my incoming swap for the uh, Halloween photo frame uh, swap that BB's Crafty Peeps Patreon Facebook group is holding. My swap partner is Charlotte, and this is the first time I've swapped with her. Here is what she sent to me. So it came in this box, so I'm sure there's more than just the things that um, they're supposed to be in the swaps. So we are doing Halloween. I kind of like the idea of doing Halloween right now. So um, happy Halloween card. And um, just a thank you for swapping. And she is ace in created land or ace in beauty land. So we'll check her out on the social media site. She is new to our group, so I'm excited to see what we got. Of course, we got some yummies, some candy. I like fruity chewy candy, so um, I'm going to hold on to it to later in the summer because I'm doing keto right now. So let's start with what the main piece is. So here is, it is those five by seven Dollar Tree picture frames. And so here, and we had to do two pockets on it and then fill it with some specific items. So she's got this, you know, I think it's some of that, um, she made a ruffle trim and I think it's some of that tablecloth, uh, people are using tablecloths to make trim. I love that. That is really cute. She sewed it and added it also to, um, uh, streamer paper. So that is really cute. At the October 31st, the green background. We decided we were doing traditional colors, so um, that's what we went with. And then I got some tiny little uh, flowers, road flowers. Wow, I don't, that is really pretty. I don't know if I've seen them that tiny. And she used a, it's almost like it's a tombstone, it looks like a tombstone uh, tag. And then um, I think this is washi. Uh, let me open it. It may be ribbon, but it looks flat enough that it's probably washi. Just real quick so I can get a feel. And I will tell you exactly what it is. Yes, it is um, washi tape in those darker colors. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Perfect. And then um, a coupon for a free jar of um ooh la la petite pot it's an organic french dessert oh well i like that what a cute idea instead of mailing chocolate in the mail because i love chocolate we got some decorations here some bling um she likes the gory so i got that hand oh she's got that hand on there my streamer paper is all stuck in here um we got look at that little shovel that is super cute. And some bubbles. Are these bubbles? Oh, it's like the bubble, the bubble uh <laughs> holder, but it is she put sequins in it. What a cute idea. Sorry I was out of frame. What a cute idea. You know, you can get these like a six pack at the Dollar Tree. I never thought about that. But now I love it. Love that. I usually gift these little things in my little treat baggy things for my, I keep saying things, for kids that I that I craft for, but I absolutely love this idea. So that is super cute. I'm sharing a cute idea, people. All right, so there's my um, frame. I love that. Beautiful. And I love how she cut that just right so you got the witch right on there. With the red hair, kind of matches all the orange. And then her shred is very Halloween-ish. All right, so let's start. Right. Oh, so in my bag, I have this Halloween, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a cotton bag. And it's got the jack o lantern face. And then it is, oh, a fine fragrance mist. Mm, I, this is what I, this is the kind of stuff I love in the summertime. It's called... Gingham Love is a Bath and Body Works. Right now I'm wearing rose from them. Mm, I like that. I like that. that. That's good for my travel bag. I like it. All right. And then I got a coffin. 
plastic coffin. It's kind of an iridescent color. And it is filled with all kinds of baubles and um, goodies. So, oh, and she gave me some trim. Yay! I love it. Some spiders. After my bat incident, I don't do bats anymore. That's gorgeous. Um, and so I told her she could not do bats. So I have some bats that I have already cut out. And I'm going to send them to her. So I just don't want to do bats right now. I'm having a little PTSD from my bat incident. Which I'm not sure that I told you guys about. But I had a bat in my house. And it just, my husband was out of town. And it just terrified me like no other. So I didn't even know I was scared of bats. But I knew I probably didn't like them. But now I'm sure I don't. So all kinds of little gooey gobbles, bobbles and trinkets and charms so I love that as we get closer to Halloween I'm still trying to work on my charm making I've made a few I'm not like oh that's beautiful I'm not there but I'm going to continue to keep trying then I got um, a chip bag style um, again look at this now that is gorgeous it's lace and paper flower and a little bit of um, that foam those foam dots looks like she cut it in half maybe and then there's that trim so cute really cute added some bling on there now that's some cute packaging let's see if i can preserve it as much as possible for regifting. <laughs> all right so we had to do let me get my list here we had to do two tag toppers whoa five die cuts paper bowls and some snazzy embellishments and then also some clean embellishments so i'm just going to show you everything i'm not going to try to decide what's what right now but here's a rosette i'm going to pull it out gonna... all right so i love how she put it on the tag and i have a shaker cauldron which is really cute i wonder where that die came from i'd love to have that look at this fish bone ah i don't think i've ever seen anything like that and then this rosette, what an interesting way to use that snowflake lace. Now, nah, I love it. Oh, I love it. Ha, 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 I love that. Okay, got another idea. Charlotte, you're amazing. Thank you so much. As we were just talking about it on the Crafty uh, Meetup, you know, you end up with so much. <laughs> and you're like, what do I do with it? And so I'm always looking for a new idea. Some ribbon. Um, I love this black trim. That's gorgeous. Cute. And then this eyelash trim in silver. Love that. I love all three of those. Yes. All right. And then there's my bows. Purple glitter. So cute. Now, let me say this. The bows could not be paper. Um, so, you know, that's the challenge BB gave us. Loving this die, this tag die here. I hope I'm in frame. I'm so busy looking at stuff myself. I'm really unboxing it right with you. So this is like a fabric glitter. And that's a, just gorgeous. Love it. Purple is her color. So when I show you mine, you'll see more purple um, as well. And then, oh, <laughs> I think we have the same dye. Because I, was, I had made her one of these. Um, spider web bows as well and maybe I will do something different since it looks like she has this one so she used the trim as the tag um, ribbon and I am just uh, in love with these tags and so this is ah this is foam so stinking cute and the little um, blingy spider there and then this is, let me see, is she, does she have it filled? Yeah, so this is also that glittery, um, uh, uh, what do you call that, mesh? And she's got, it's filled with like um, shaker bits. That is really cute. I'm loving all of these embellishments. Thank you so much. I would definitely... Um, I've done a couple of Halloween swaps last year, and so I got some embellishments that I actually used on hers when I was, you know, creating her gift. And then um, these uh, layered flowers, 
in the black and orange very cute and then so these are her unfinished embellishments here um, which are rosettes which I always love I don't know I don't know my rosettes are always um, something to be desired and I think that these are um, stickers but you know they are not flat so uh, I love that now that's really cute too you can add that to some things all right then I have one more let's make sure I'm not missing anything one more bag here yep and see what we got in here so I loved all of that in that last bag so we have here all right these are her bag toppers so we had to include a bag I love this and here's her topper which is also gorgeous which I, I'm laughing because we basically had the same idea. I just, I had bought a roll of black, um, black, um, ah, why can't I think? This uh, crepe paper roll and um, to make rosettes. And so I love that we had that same idea. And then she used this uh, spiderweb mesh again. So gorgeous. Ah, I love it absolutely love it all right so there's the bag topper and i got my stuff all mixed up all right here's here's another one so here's the second one and she included the um a clear bag and um i love the way she is just really using this mesh um in so many creative ways that is just gorgeous and then um the spider web or the spider i think these were rings Sometimes I don't even think about, oh, I'm going to get those and I can alter them. But that is just adorable with the jeweled belly. So stinking cute. This is gorgeous. Charlotte, thank you so much. Um, all right, let me make sure I got everything because I kind of got it all over the place. So we saw the rosettes. We saw the bag toppers. Oh, here's something else. Oh, we had to do die cuts, remember? So... Let's see here. We had this whole conversation too the other night about what's the difference between if somebody says in a swap die cuts, but then they say embellishments. I always get a little off on what what's the difference, right? So I see cute die cut. She put it all together. She's got all the pieces. Um, so I was asking Brittany. And so, um, I don't know that we ever came to a, an agreement, but I love getting whatever I get, and I hope the person I swap with likes getting what they get. So, I love these words with the um, shadow in the back. She sent me several solid and printed. Love that. And then the gate. Very cute. Oh, ah, it's very cute. Hot air balloon, iridescent with a print. Now that's adorable. She sent me another one printed and then some different kind of doily pieces. Love, love, love. Love all of these. Wow, what a great way to capture that image. Oh, that's a cute die too. Look at that, it kind of matches like the gate. And a haunted house. And this is, hold on, let me put this down so I can look at this closer. Okay, so we got a candelabra and the spider pitchfork. Now that's cute too. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hope I'm not too close in the camera. Very cute. This was in there. We got some words. Um, okay, so it's trick or treat and happy Halloween all in there. And trick or treat. Cute. Then we got some trim with the spider web and the spider hanging down. Very del delicate pieces again. And then some other trim type pieces, decorative pieces with the jack-o'-lantern. I love the prints that she used. And then um, the, oh, look at this. I got to open this one for you guys. The bow with the witch's feet. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> I love it. Love that. Thank you so much, Charlotte. 
I hope I got everything. Um, I didn't do a good job of staying organized as I was trying to share my swap, but um, I haven't filmed in a while. And um, I'm going to try to get as much up as I possibly can. Definitely will get my outgoing swap up so you can see what I'm sending Charlotte in my 5x7 frame. And um, hey, just thanks for watching so much. Have a great day.